Throw it now. With that girl she's putting down, I'm in the mood. In the mood for love. I'm in the mood, baby, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for love. Right time, be with the one you love. When the night time comes, baby, you so far away, you leave me here in the moon. Oh, moon for love. I'm in the mood, baby, I'm in the mood. This guitar before five o'clock in the morning. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a few new songs lately. Wish I had company, company too. What's that? You have that company too. Yeah, keeping I have you that up. company keeping me. It's all Chad's fault. Yeah. Chuck Lamont's from Austria was uh, staying with us a couple nights, and I took Chad from the Snout Bar over there in uh, over to Austria in '03. So he always comes over when uh, uh, Chuck Lamont stops in. Uh, oh. There's some late nighters. <laughs> Tune by Tom Waits. There's a crooked street. Houston town It's a well-worn path I've traveled down Now there's ruin in my name Wish I'd never stepped off that train I rue the day that I Wish I lived through the words you said don't go down to Fan Street. Don't go down to Fan Street. Don't go down to Fan Street. You 
be lost and never found You can never turn around Don't go down To Fan Street Get the word. I'm learning. Wish I'd never stepped off that train. I rue the day that I stepped on the train. Don't go down to Fan Street. Don't go down. To Fan Street Don't go down To Fan Street You'll be lost and never found You can never turn around Don't go down To Fan Street These two verses over there. I'll work on that third one. <laughs> Go down and see uh, my uh, guitar idol, Travis Womack, in uh, November for his 80th birthday. Played his birthday party slash benefit. Six months ago, Travis was very optimistic. But since then, uh, the arthritis has taken over his whole body, so down his back, he, his hands went a while ago, he can't uh, make a guitar chord anymore. Uh, his uh, vocal cords remain frozen, frozen well, half of them frozen for a while, and the specialist in Nashville uh, said that his balance problem is too far gone, there's nothing they can do about it. So uh, he can't play guitar, he can't sing, he can't stand up. So he's got a gig coming up in August, <laughs> which, he, which he intends to make. It's a, it's a, it'd be an easy one. It's at the high school with his son, probably three or four songs, something like that. He intends on doing that, but as, as far as uh, taking the stage professionally, his career is, uh, he's retired from that. Uh, 70 years, uh, made his living since he was nine years old playing guitar. So I'll go down there. Dan Penn, a well-known uh, Muscle Shoals songwriter and producer, is putting on the benefit for him. He's going to save a place, save a spot for me. So One of my favorite Travis Womack tunes. <laughs> Thank you. 
so I could fly away from all this trouble and this misery. I'm a man on the run from Memphis, Tennessee. Gotta keep on running. Travis Womack, I, I recommend uh, Googling him and uh, checking out the history of that uh, great American guitar player. I had his uh, 45 record when I was 11 years, 11, 12 years old. Lost it back then, but I never forgot the name of Travis Womack. Uh, it was uh, a guy who gave me the record. It said it was by a large black man, not the actual phrase use. Uh, so I had this, uh, when I lost the record, I had this vision in my mind, this image in my mind for 50 years of a probably a long dead large black man playing, elect playing surf rock music. Then about 15 years ago, the, the years are adding up, aren't they? About 15 years ago, my wife calls me over. She said, hey, that Travis Womack guy you 
always talk about it. I found him on the computer here. I got him pull up. Come on over and look at him. And it wasn't a wasn't a large black man. It was a little white kid, 16 years of age, when he recorded those incredible instrumentals back in 1960, released in '64. And he had 13 CDs available. And I only thought he had that 145. <laughs> Deb got for my birthday, she got me all 13 CDs and a wow. book on his uh, life story. And I was so blown away, I, I wrote him a letter. And uh, now I've stayed at his house 21 nights and uh, recorded two albums at his studio in Muscle Shoals. And I've yet to see him play that I haven't shared the stage with him. He, I've met a few of my guitar heroes before, and sometimes they turn out to be maybe a little bit disappointing, you know. Uh, not Travis. He, he invited me into his, onto his stage, into his house, and into his life. And we've been friends, good friends, for 11 years now. He sold 62 million records for other people. <laughs> As a studio musician in. Uh, in Memphis and uh, in Muscle Shoals, he replaced the Swampers uh, down in Muscle Shoals in 1969. Known as the Snake Man, he can uh, he catches rattlesnakes alive. To this day, he uh, can take a marble and throw it up into the air. Before it hits the ground, he can load another marble in his slingshot and draw in it and explode it before it hits the ground. If he's rusty. He claims he can do it in the first three tries, and once he hits it, he ain't never going to miss. he go face to face with a rattlesnake, provoke it into a strike, and when the rattlesnake opens his mouth and rears back to strike, that's when he puts a marble through its, into its mouth and out the back of its head. And there's no room for error. He makes guitar straps, and jewelry, hat bands. I was hoping he'd give me one of them guitar straps. He never did, though. <laughs> Travis Womack, Google him. Thank <laughs> you. 
break of day. On Saturday, baby, ride to the break of day. Gotta do the things you know the papa will say. Do everything that you know the papa will say. So the sunshine till you turn out your life. Never saw my home down to stay away too long. Never heard the melody till I needed the song. Saw the white line till I was leaving you behind. Never know I needed you till I was caught up in a bind. Never spoke I love you till I cursed you in vain. Never heard my heart say till I nearly went insane. Never saw the East Coast till I moved to the West. Never saw the moonlight till it shone down off your breast. Never saw your heart until somebody made you give it away. 
never saw your tears till they rolled down your face. I saw the morning till I stayed awake all night. I saw the sunlight till you turned out your love like data. I saw my hometown till I stayed away too long. Never heard a melody till I needed the song. Looking forward to the um, birthday bash down in Tremblo and, uh, and, and the Tuesday night uh, blues uh, just before that. Nine years. Nine years. Nine years. I've been there almost that many times. <laughs> <laughs> Trumbull Hotel. We just played there. Man, I must have played there in the 70s. That's Jim used to own the place. Yeah. He used to work for Jim, and I, we used to. They had, we had a mini blues fest down there. And uh, one time I was playing a gig there, and Jim took me upstairs to pay me. And he said, Howard, I want to tell you. We appreciate the energy you put out and, and, and the blues that you play. And I want you to know it's a it's an honor to have you down here. And we want you to know that we consider it a tradition to have you play the Blues Fest here in Tremble Hotel. And uh, I said, well, glad to thank you, Jim. That's, that's, that's really a really nice thing to say. And then come around, uh, around New the first of the year, it's time to book the following year's calendar up, and so as to avoid uh, a double booking, I gave Jim a call right away. I said, "Jim, what uh, what date are you going to have for the booze fest this time, uh, so we can get this uh, booking sorted up?" And he said, "Ah, I got somebody else." <laughs> <laughs> Story. I didn't play the blues fest. I played it after that. I think. So it's always for tradition. That's the blues. Out of trouble now, she belongs to me. You can't have none of that. You can't have none of that. Now keep your mind off it. You can't have none of that. Took me six months to get my woman right. You think you can do the same thing just one night? You can't have none of that. You can't have none of that. Well, keep your mind off it. You can't have none of that. Your teeth may shine. 
your teeth may grit, but all that sweet loving, you ain't gonna get none of it. You can't have none of that. No, you can't have none of that. Well, keep your mind off it. trouble anymore if you miss my woman not the floor you can't have none of that you can't have none of that we'll keep your mind off it you can't have none of that I don't mind you talking to her Keep it nice and sweet. Don't ask her for no bread. You sure can't have no meat. You can't have none of that. You can't have none of that. Now keep your mind off it. You can't have none of that. Song list with me. I got one. I forgot one. I got one. I got one. Tunes by Ripoff Raskolnikov. Uh, what an amazing guy. Rip, uh, Google him too. My two favorite musicians, Travis Womack and Ripoff Raskolnikov. I'm sure you never heard of either one of them. Ripoff's from uh, Hungary. He, we met him in 1995 when Europe. I consider him the European Bob Dylan. During the Bosnian War, he uh, played up and down the Adriatic coast, uh, back and forth to Greece. And he'd go down the down the coast, and uh, one week he'd have a gig for the Serbs, and then the next week he'd have a gig for the Croats. Play both sides. You can do that in a war zone. Music goes on. Don't talk politics. Don't step on a mine. Rip off back and forth. Do that. Second to the last time I saw Rip off, 2003. We played a party, and uh, we started at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and we played till 6 a.m. Wow. Took a little time now to eat. Uh, about 2, well, about, uh, it was already cold at night, we moved into the kitchen. This was in uh, October, I believe. And, uh, there was about 12 people sitting around the table, I mean, we for playing, and uh, then they dwindled off, went to bed, and then after 2 o'clock, it was just me and Rip Off and Chad, so, and uh, I said, Rip Off, I'll play a couple more, uh, then I got to get to bed, I get some sleep, got to get to the airport at 6 a.m., 6.30 or something like that. And Chad went to pack his bag and get some sleep, and Rip Off said, well, one more. Yeah, we played one more, then he played one more, and I was like, ah, one more, we went back and forth. <laughs> and I got near 6 a.m. Well, I, well, I wasn't going to get any sleep. Barely had time to pack my bags. 
and uh, 6 a.m. the sun was coming up and he played the last song and how he held this song in reserve I'll never know I've asked him about it he doesn't know either so I think I'd rip off for us going up. I thought he was writing the song for me on the spot. It wasn't. <laughs> town, every city has a Washington Avenue or a Lincoln Street. Well, every town behind the Iron Curtain before 1989 had a Lennon Street. And that's where, uh, that's where the bands were playing, that's where the action was, it was the main drag of town. 
That's where he went looking for romance. Lennon Street. And when the wall came down, and they changed all the names, a lot of people missed that part of their life that they had grown up with there. I can't believe I, 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 I learned this song. Let's see if I remember all the words. By Rip Off Raskolnikov, The Ballad of Lennon Street. <laughs> Came down 
and a new mom came and they took down all the street signs they just changed all the names now there's a drive in mcdonald's like a mark of defeat on the face of what once used to be Lennon Street. One night in September, I couldn't find no rest. So I went through the diaries of my dead uncle's chest. It was there I found these memories of a love obsolete. Far from the world now, there's Lennon Street. Changes will come, changes will go. Well, for worse or for better now, who am I to know? But I'm haunted by the vision of the painful and sweet of a girl on the pavement of Lennon Street. Rip off rest on the dock, the ballad of Leonard Street. Is it dead and blues again? All my dreams went down the drain. All my colors are turned to blue. All my nightmares they have come true. Stranded here on this dead end street. It's the dead end blues. Dead end blues. Dead end blues. Once again. Shining toys, they came down to dust. First came fall, and then came frost. Heaven came, and then came hell. I thought I'd stand, but then I fell. Once again.
That's a rip off, that's what I got. I'm a rip off kick here, let me do another one. So I don't think it'd be coming anytime soon. No. I knew we'd never 
Subject of sad songs. Met my uh, would be foster mother uh, this spring. Had 70 years to get to know her. I had met her before. I saw her for a long time. Uh, finally, she was six miles from my house. And I found her there. I'm able to see her. She, she, my father died when I was a week old. My mother was 17. And it dropped me off at my grandparents, uh, raised by my grandparents. And my Betty, she actually considered adopting me at one time. Fortunately for her, she decided against that. Uh, but she did, she did buy me my little cowboy suit that I still have uh, a picture of me in it on the, on the mantle. Anyway, I went over to see her, and uh, I didn't know. I didn't know that she went steady with my father from the uh, time she was 13 to the time she was almost 20. Not that long? My wife corrects me. Now don't ruin a good story with the truth. <laughs> 13 to 18, wasn't it? 17. 17, okay, 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 okay. It's still a good story. Well, it started, it started again on the 13th because uh, she said that uh, my, my, my dad uh, came over to her place and asked her mother if, she, if he could take her out on a date in the car and her mother said she's got to wait until she's 14. Ah. Anyway, when they split up, uh, uh, my dad was so devastated he uh, approached the only other girl in the one-room country schoolhouse out in Ludington, my mother, and that's her, uh, Betty's best friend, so that, that's where I came along. And, uh, imagine things she could have told me, but the next time I saw her, uh, a couple months later, she was on her deathbed. I took my guitar in. This is the last song she would have ever heard. Uh, 
I can make a time with you stand still There'd be no time that I would want to kill I'd drink in every drop of you To get my fill If I can make the time with you stand still I can make your every dream come true I'd grant every wish I could to you Darling, for your love there is Nothing I wouldn't do If I can make your every dream come true You know, my love is true And you know, I wouldn't lie to you If I should run out of time I'll wait for you The sweet by and by Just want to leave you with a smile Even though it hasn't always been my style I miss my best intention But I loved you all the while Just want to leave you with a smile
the sun go down
old, sometimes my mojo just ain't working right. <laughs> Bring that song. They don't want to wear you people out. Waited 50 years to sing this song. Come on, let the good time roll. Gonna stay here too soon, my soul. If it takes all night long. Come on, let the good time We gonna stay here till we soothe our soul If it takes all night long Think something's sinking low Clock on the wall says, time to go now It's good, since I don't know when Might not feel this good again Everybody let the good time roll We gonna stay here till we soothe our soul If it takes all night long Everybody let the good time roll We gonna stay here till we soothe our soul If it takes all night long it Might be one o'clock and it might be three Says I don't know when I might not feel this good again. Come on, let the good time roll. We gonna stay here till we soothe our souls if it takes all night long. Everybody let the good time roll. We gonna stay here till we soothe our souls if it takes all night long. All night, all night, all night, all night. Somebody said it might take all night long. All night, all night. So come on, let the good time roll. We gonna stay to soothe our soul if it takes all night long. Judgment day. You 
you could touch your body where you can't do it. Reach your body with your soul. The judgment falls on all mankind. The one that trumpet sounds a call. All equal and the same. But the Lord calls you that. Ready, brother, for the day. Everybody gonna blame on the very last day. When they hear that bell in the world away, everybody gonna fret to the heaven on the judgment day. Will the one day soon all men shall stand? Will they hear all the land? Then so no and men shall see. We are brothers and we all are free. Mankind made the clay. Each of us in the very same way. Ready, brother, for that day, everybody gonna pray on the very last day when they hear that bell bring the world away. Everybody gonna pray to you on the judgment day. guitars at home and decided to downsize. So I sold three, <laughs> bought two, <laughs> and got your eye on another one. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And two of the three that I sold, I sold to my wife. <laughs> I went from the downstairs closet to the upstairs closet. <laughs> I think I'm holding at 39 now. <laughs> uh, something I, I, I swore I'd never do. I bought a new guitar, a brand new guitar. Because you want somebody else to buy that first, take it out the door, and then bring it back in, then you can get it half price. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know if anybody remembers um, two years ago, Dave Rogers gave me a beautiful 1970 red. Uh, Gibson 355. It's a birthday gift. Well, the nut was really narrow. I've never played such a narrow neck guitar. I would love that when I was 18. But after 50 years of playing a big fat neck Les Paul, it was kind of difficult to play. I told Dave, oh, I wasn't, I had it out a few times. I wasn't playing it all that much. And so, well, you know, Howard, if you're not playing it too much, feel free to trade it off. And uh, I said, well, Dave, I wouldn't trade it to anybody except you. And I wouldn't trade it for anything but uh, the same kind of guitar because you gave me that guitar not to put in my closet, but to trade licks with you on stage. So I went down there, traded in there on a brand new custom shop. My God, my life. It used to be, I am so old, I remember when they were $400, now they're $6,500. Yeah. But it's pretty nice. It's, it's a, uh, I never thought I'd have a a Murphy, pre-aged. Oh, you pay a lot of money extra for that, pre-aged. Uh, they, they scratch it all up, put finish cracks in it, and gouges and mix and stuff like that. Yeah, well, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, like pants. 
So you want a, you see you want a you want a new guitar to look old. You want an old guitar to look new. You want a Les Paul to sound like a Stratocaster. You want a Stratocaster to sound like a Les Paul. You want a studio recording to sound like a live performance. And you want a live performance to sound like a studio recording. It just all makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll debut that guitar uh, on Trumpelow. Maybe, well, maybe a Tuesday, too. Oh, I was going to say, doing your show on Tuesday coming on. Right? Yeah. Okay, are you ready for it? Yeah, I'll, I'll pour some sweat on on Tuesday night. Yeah. I'm sorry, I wish I could make it cooler up there. I don't think there's any way to do that. No. I thought sand this year, though. I come to sweat. I come to sweat. I come to sweat. <laughs> Hey, you know, how we, we opened the show for George Thorogood one time on the 4th of July at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Full sun, 100, uh, 100 degrees, full sun, chest level. And I had, I had, I had bought a, uh, it wasn't a new, it was a used, uh, 54 Les Paul reissue, nice gloss black. And you know how the cold can crack a guitar? So can the heat. And in the middle, in the middle of it, as, as I was playing it, I could look down and I could see the cracks. Cracks uh, forming in, the, in my last spot. Looks nice. Looks, looks real nice. You didn't have to pay for it. Remember this one. This song was written by Tuck Pence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As a tribute to Bronson. And we recorded this one time for a Tuck Pence benefit. That's a year or so ago. I forgot all about the tune until the other night. Might forget a few words of this one too, but that's all right. Tune called The Big Show. Just join hands and sing here I am for the love of a song. I'm on my way to the big show. So where it is, how I'll get there, it's time I don't need to know. One thing though, no, I don't want you to grieve. When it's time for me to leave Just join hands and sing Here I am for the love of a song This life's a hard mistress She don't cut you no slack You dedicate your life You might not get nothing back This naughty nose kid With no talent that show With a bunch of grannies Takes all the big dough those of us with music in our soul know this business is out of our control. We just do what we do to our music be true, cause it's all we know. Now I'm on the road. Join hands 
sing here I am for a love song. I want to thank you all for listening to the words I've said. Allowing me to live the life I've led. Now that my earthly gig is done, I hope in your hearts I'll move on them on. I'm on the road to the big show. Where it is, I will get there. This time I don't need no. It's time for me to leave Just join hands Say here I am For the love of a song Just join hands Say here I am For the love of a song Good show For Bronson Remedy Bronson how long has Bronson been going, Odette? Uh, 1999. Well, I'm no mathematician, but that's... Uh, 25 years. 25, quarter of a century. Wow. Yeah. Today and tomorrow, so the 8th, 7th or 8th of July. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Old Bronson. I'll tell some stories about him, but I won't. say a friend of mine wrote this next tune and the first time I uh, heard him sing it was at his 75th birthday party down in at the Shoals Theater in Muscle Shoals uh, how many people ever heard of it? Funky Donnie Fritz how many people heard of Funky Donnie Fritz yeah right, back in the 70s I remember he was doing all the SFB biker parties in uh, lacrosse, and they were always playing Outlaw Country. Mm -hmm. Had a Jerry Jeff Walker album. I think the tune on it was uh, Pissing in the Wind. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> and he, uh, Jerry Jeff introduces the tune, and says, I'd like to dedicate this here song to Merle Haggers, Johnny Cash, <laughs> Funky Donnie Fritz. <laughs> And I'm thinking, Funky Donnie Fritz, I, he's just making that up. That can't be a real person. <laughs> so 40 years go by. I'm down in, uh, down in Muscle Shoals to meet Travis, who I thought was a large black man. <laughs> <laughs> second day, second day we were down in Muscle Shoals, went to Travis's gig. He was introducing me to all his friends. He says, Howard, I'd like you to meet Funky Donnie Fritz. <laughs> I'm shaking his hand. I'm thinking, I didn't think you were a real person. I didn't tell him that. And towards the end there, he would, we were becoming pretty good friends. Uh, he'd make his way across a crowded uh, bar room, uh, come over to me and shake my hand. How you doing, boy? He, uh, in fact, a Blue Max Band, the only time we played in Muscle Shoals a lot, when we were down there, uh, Funky Donnie set in with the Blue Max Band. We got some photos of that somewhere. <laughs> Funky Donnie Fritz, rest his soul. He's gone now, but uh, I think he died at uh, age 80 or 81. At his 75th uh, birthday party, and I got to be Travis's uh, guitar tech, so I got to hang out backstage all, all day and into the night. And, uh, Guest of honor was uh, Chris Christopherson was there. Funky Donnie Fritz spent uh, 30 years traveling and songwriting with uh, Chris Christopherson. Uh, and Donnie Fritz is a movie actor of uh, some sorts. Just about every um, movie that Chris Christopherson was in, Funky Donnie had a minor role. 
I've identified him in one movie. Uh, it's Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. Uh, it's much younger there. He was getting knocked off his bar stool. <laughs> so I don't want to identify it so far, but... Uh... At his 75th birthday party, he did this song. That's the first time I heard it. Willie Nelson recorded it a little while later. And it's uh, getting more appropriate year by year. It's called Old Timer. Souls when I did in 2013, 11 years ago. Uh, met so many people that are gone now. Funky Donnie. You got a water? They bottle water down in Muscle Shoals from the Singing River. Mm. Wow. It's a singing river down singing there. River. Yeah, but somebody gave me a book down there of, uh, I forget the name, I got it at home, I read it. About the uh, Trail of Tears. Mm. It marched through Muscle Shoals. 
somebody's uh, grandmother was on that march, and the guy that lived on it, he just, he just passed away. Uh, he built the largest unmortared stone wall in North America, or the Northern Hemisphere. Tribute to his uh, grandmother who marched on the Trail of Tears. Did it all in his own land. It just winds around like a snake, but it's the uh, largest uh, unmortared wall. She, uh, as a, as a, what, a 13 year old, 13, uh, probably younger than that, uh, she was like 14 when she came back. She was on the Trail of Tears. She left with her tribe uh, to go to the reservation out wherever they went in Oklahoma. She wanted to be with her family. She wanted to be with her tribe. But when she got out there, by the river they were by, <laughs> the river didn't sing. Mm -hmm. How can you live by a river that doesn't sing after you spent your life by the singing river? So she walked back from Oklahoma to Muscle Shoals, Alabama. And the book was about her adventures along the way. And we, we saw the wall, didn't we, dear? That's Steve Bigby down in Muscle Shoals, Alabama. He's still with us. He was the road manager for Charlie Rich, who this next song is by, Steve Bigby. Uh, he, he contracted the uh, largest uh, metal building built in the world. His he didn't lift a finger, his commission was $1 million. Building. He's into technical things, Steve Bigby. Anyway, he used to ro uh, road manager for Charlie Rich to this song. Anyway. 
song in memory of Claire Stover, the uh, lead guitar player from the Trust Band. Used to watch him play at the Milo Way in Thorpe in 1970, a big influence on me at that time. Played a gold top Les Paul about 1970. Then in 1972 I walked into Day Music on uh, Barstow Street and there hung an old beat up gold top Les Paul for $225. Yeah, I know a lot of money, but I, I came up with it somehow. When they brought out the case, imagine my surprise when I saw the name Trust, the name of his band, stenciled on the case. Oh, this is a guitar that I've been watching this guy play for the last couple years. That guitar stayed with me for a long time. I took it as far as Eastern Germany. And uh, in the 21st century, I, know I wasn't playing it too much anymore. I decided to part with it. But uh, when I was going to, I think it was 1996, yeah, when I was going over to East Germany, I took the shuttle bus from Eau Claire to Minneapolis Airport. And there was a blonde lady about my age sitting next to me on the shuttle bus, and she looks at the case and she says, I see you're traveling with a Les Paul. And I said, well, ma'am, you know your guitar is pretty well if you can uh, identify a, a guitar by the case that it's in. She says, well, yes, my brother used to play in a band back in the day. Uh, I said, oh, yeah, is that right around the area? She says, yeah. I said, what band? She says, oh, you've probably never heard of the Trust Band. I said, ma'am, this is, this is your brother's guitar in this case. What are the chances of that? Right. And then several years went by and I decided to part with the guitar and I knew that she was married to the veterinarian in Colfax, so I called the veterinarian's office because I hadn't seen Claire for decades. And uh, they, they told me where he lived. He doesn't take too many visitors. He said, we might, you know, we'll call him and ask him if he could come over there. And it was okay and I went over there. And I, his sister was, gonna, was thinking of buying the, the guitar for him. Claire didn't have no money. I took the uh, guitar over to him, the look on his face when he opened that case. Wow. My God, I never thought I'd see this guitar. And I, his sister opted not to buy it for him, but I left it there for a year for him to say goodbye. And we, uh, we became pretty good friends then over the last 10 years. I go over and see Claire quite often. Well, he up and died this, this spring. And uh, all everybody else was too uh, too sad to play to play at his funeral. All the other musicians and played enough other funerals recently, I guess. So and Claire had asked for me, uh, and two songs, uh, "Tears in Heaven." Mm -hmm. well, I'm not going to play that. I'd be in tears. <laughs> but the. Uh, he requested another one, and I, I learned that a bit of it anyway. I'd like this, dedicated to Claire. <laughs> I 
like I never had before And I know I don't have a lot to give I can open any door Everybody knows a secret Everybody knows a score I have finally found a way to live In the presence of the Lord Saturdays came before the storm. 
flies by and they're having a good time. 72 years. All this I ever felt was when I turned 25. Uh, a lot of people feel that way. You're not a you're quarter of a century old. And you're not a kid anymore. But, but to convince, to console myself at that time, I told myself, Howard, 25 is not that old. Uh, you were born in 1952. You won't really be old till the year 2022. <laughs> I can't argue with that because I knew everything back when I was 25. I couldn't be wrong. Make me real old now. My good friend Jim Shu sitting out there, formerly with the American Tea Company. We give a steak in for each other occasionally. All the time. All the time. Yeah. 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 Yes, is that, uh, not, let's see, uh, who's there this coming week, who's there this coming Tuesday? Charlie. Charlie Parr. Charlie Parr. Yeah. When's Kyle? Kyle, he's there after us, isn't he? After us. Let's see Kyle, Kyle. Let's see play. We, oh, we, are, we are. We are there on the 16th. The 16th. Uh, okay, so you're there in two weeks. Yeah. In, two, in two weeks. Two yeah. weeks. Two weeks from Less not tonight. Days. Less than two weeks. Nine days. Less than two weeks. Nine days. Yeah. It's uh, Bill's birthday, our drummer's birthday. Yeah. He's getting all psyched. How old is he? 65. 65. Five again, aren't you? Yeah, he's just a pup, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, when we, uh, when we play there, we have uh, uh, Pete Shank uh, will be on keyboards with us. Yeah, okay. but, uh, yeah. I don't know if he's played with anybody else there. He played with us last night and had a great time. You know, we'll set him up on your side of the stage this time, so he ain't so damn long. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got time for one more? Is that what I got? I got time for one more. Well, what do I want to do? Last time. Say, play me in Snappy's favorite. Wow. Snappy oh. favorite? Whatever, whatever Snappy See, Snappy's wants. favorite. <laughs> Snappy's favorite. Snappy. Snappy. What would you like to hear? Last time. Last time. <laughs> Oh, the girl 
but I can't stay. Feel like I do today. Too much pain, too much, too much sorrow. Yes, I feel the same tomorrow. The song was written by the Staples, Mavis, Sta Mavis Staples. A good friend of mine, Scott Raymond, printed out the history of that song for me. So I knew all, they didn't know much about it when I recorded. He gave me all the history. Scott Lehman, oh, yeah. did you ever know Scott? Stone, original. He went down, he went down to blue, a blues night in lacrosse with me. Uh, I drove, he got drunk. <laughs> and we got home about five o'clock in the morning. And he and we was out in my garage and he had to get uh, home before his wife woke up. You know. <laughs> he went out the door. And uh, then he stuck his head back in the door and said, "This might be this may be the last time." <laughs> and I never saw him again. <laughs> he had a heart attack. Oh. That's why I never seen him. But he's the one that told me what the song meant. <laughs> so I dedicate this to Scott Lane Manuel. <laughs> This couldn't be the last time, this couldn't be the last time, maybe the last time, I don't know, oh no. Hear one? 
one more? Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> then I gotta go, then I gotta get out of here, but get home and set up and so I can uh, sit out in the garage and play guitar all night long. <laughs> <laughs> One more tune by Ripoff Raskolnikov. <laughs> benefit that's this coming Saturday. next next Saturday yeah next Saturday noon to two Jim and I will be playing at the wayside Sherry Joe's wayside over on uh, highway X okay. over by Lake a, Wasoda yeah, there will be, be a what we're gonna be at Fat Bob's and we will be at Fat Bob's later on that night never been to Fat Bob's in Holcomb yes, yes. Holcomb. but tanks benefit Sherry Joe was on Saturday. Tanky lost both of his feet. Yes. 
We want to help get him back on his feet again. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.